Hi everyone, welcome to Load Magic for JMeter. So we're just importing a HAR file, which is a user flow you can record with any browser, and we're playing it back. So we've selected send errors automatically to AI, and an error has been detected, it's a correlation error, and it's already been fixed. So automatically uh, inserted a correlation point and substituted for those data elements in the script. And um, uh, we should see, yeah, everywhere there was an error, should now be correlated data. I'm playing it back and the errors have gone. So we've successfully correlated scripts, no manual effort. So now we're going to generate some code from text. So no coding required. You can ask for anything we want. In this case, we've asked for some random names to be generated and saved to variables. So it's inserted a script, generated inserted scripts in the test plan, move to where we want. We're now inserting a debug sampler so we can see the data output coming back. We should be able to see first and last names. Let's have a look. Uh, yep, first and last names being generated, saved to variables. So that script has worked first time. We're now going to break the script. So it's called a breaking. Let's break it quite badly. Remove the import and mess around in more or less every line. And this is a very broken script. So let's play it back. Obviously, it doesn't work. And we've got an error, a broken script, been synced for, to AI for fixing automatically. And it does get fixed. So a fixed version is inserted. The old, old version is still there. It's just disabled. You can go back to it. I'm now going to replay the fixed script. Um, we should have yep, first and last names being generated again. So self healing scripts. Again, no code, no coding required. And we're now going to uh, visually correlate some data. So we can select our boundaries visually, and then the data that we want to capture. And we're going to automatically send it to AI. AI will generate a regular expression and insert an extractor in the right place in the test plan. So that's now been inserted. So we've got the regular expression and the extractor that should capture the data we want. We're now going to do a similar thing for uh, using a JSON uh, path extractor. So again, visually inserting. In this case, we wanted to capture an email. So we should now hopefully see that data being captured and assigned to those variables. So there you go, we've got an email and we should also have a session session ID. Yeah. So we're now going to ask George, who has encyclopedic knowledge of JMeter, to get access to all the JMeter documentation. I'm going to ask him some guidance. We could ask him for anything we want. In this case, we're going to ask him for instructions, how to run a distributed test. We'll see what he comes back with. So he's now consulting his documentation. And he's come back quite a lot. And let's have a look. So preparing the machines, configuring the slave and the master, running the test, verifying the distributed run, come pitfalls and clean up. So yeah, thank you for watching.